Good morning and welcome to the video for fourth grade for lesson 5.4 from Into Math. This is Mr. Parks, the math teacher at Risen Christ Lutheran School. This is one of the lessons that tends to be a little bit confusing for students and parents because um, as an adult, this is not something that I had to do. We learned how to do this in a different way. Um, we never worked on this particular type of thing. They just gave us math problems uh, for multiplication and told us, okay, here's how you do it the traditional way. Just go ahead and grind it out until you get it right. Um, and, and basically not only until you get it right, but until you don't get it wrong anymore. <laughs> um, so one of the things that they ask students to do nowadays is to use partial products. So for our Spark Your Learning problem, I went ahead and drawed out a picture that will help us explain each step. So we're working with 136 riders. So I've drawn a 100 block or a flat, uh, three uh, 10 blocks and six one blocks. So this represents one group of riders. We can do four runs each half hour. So we are gonna take the answers for each of these parts separately and then add them all together. Um, we're not gonna worry about trying to write it out with, um, oh, we got this many left over, we're gonna carry and, and recreate. Um, we're not doing that for this lesson. We'll do that in another lesson. Um, so I have six, 12, 18, 24. So I'm gonna do 24. And then I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. And then I have uh, each of these representing 100. So we would end up with a problem that would look like this. 400 plus 120 plus 24. We add that straight up and down. Uh, that should give us 4, 4, 4. I'm sorry, 5, 4, 4. Um, almost had that uh, song stuck in my head uh, that some of the students like to sing from a particular advertisement uh, and uh, misspoke there. Um, so the other thing that we're going to see with this is uh, this type of problem. So they're going to ask students to work on this um, and eventually they're going to give a problem where we have the partial products but one of those is wrong and the students will need to figure out what the mistake was after they identify which one was wrong and then give a correct answer. So that's kind of like a state level, uh, state test level um, task that they're going to ask students to do with that. Um, so to get an idea of what we're doing here, um, we're going to multiply. So we need to figure out how many um, Students we have times the number of notebooks, so we're going to need four times, and then we want to find an estimate for this. I always tell students to go to the largest place value, which is what they represent here. So we would do four times 2,000 to get our estimate, and that would give us an estimate of 8,000. Then we're going to break apart our number using place value. So we would get um, 2,000. So that's going to give us one of our numbers that we multiply by 4 here. Then 300. So we could go ahead and plug that in down here. Uh, 50, which we can plug in down here. And then the last one being 6. And so we have our estimate for what the final answer should be if we didn't do anything else. Um, now, obviously, it's going to be a little bit different once we start working in the hundreds place. We're going to end up with a slightly larger number, but it'll give us still a good estimate. Um, so 4 times 2,000 would give us 8,000. 4 times 300 would give us 1,200. 4 times 50 gives us 200. And then 4 times 6 gives us 24. And one of the things I've been talking to students about, it's very important to make sure that everything is lined up correctly. So one of the things that we might do um, is work out some of these problems on notebook paper. So for instance, here's my piece of notebook paper turned sideways to give us columns, and then we could put each number uh, or each place value inside the columns. So we could do eight, zero, 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 um, 200 could go like this, 
24 could go like this to make sure that we have the numbers lined up so that we don't make any mistakes. Because um, usually what ends up happening is we start crunching these numbers and then we start uh, putting them in the wrong spot when we line them up, which gives us um, errors in our addition. So we would get 4 for this, uh, 0, 0, 0, 2. 2 and 2 gives us 4, and 8 and 1 gives us 9. So it's pretty reasonable. It's off by a little bit. Um, it, we could probably say that it would be a better estimate to round this to 2300 and then multiply by 4 compared to what we did, but it's an easy estimate that works for us. Um, just to give an idea, so we're going to see lots of problems like this. Our estimate, we could say we could do 30 times 7 to get 210. And then we would do 30 times 7 to get 210. We can do uh, 4 times 7 to get 28. And then add those two together uh, to get 238. So this is the kind of thing that we'll be doing a lot of on the homework. The video is running already a little bit longer uh, than I wanted to go, so I'm going to go ahead and stop there. But it's the same process for all of these. We're eventually going to get to where we're finding all of the numbers uh, for either a three or four digit number, and then we're going to work to use place value and then add those place values together to get our final answer for today. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me um, either by text or by email. Uh, hope you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.